today I'm tuning a very nice vintage Beckstein, um, and I'm not at home, I'm, and it's difficult to get, take tools and aircraft, so I'm using this cheap Chinese ha tuning hammer, which I keep in France, and I'm actually making friends of it. I didn't like the balance of it before, but it's feeling okay. Now, on Beckstein's, um, unlike many other grand pianos, um, Paps wedges are brilliant for Beckstein's because they've got this bar here, and so you can't actually get felt wedges in there, and to get them in there, you can't see what you're doing, so Paps wedges are really great. I'm doing this video because there's something very interesting on the electronic tuner that I'm using. Because the TLA CTS-5 is um, an analogue tuner, and so it's, the LED display is almost like an oscilloscope. And so there are two complete cycles in that display but you can see a line going in the middle of them and that's the second harmonic and because it's not quite in tune it's slightly sharp you can see that line traveling through rightwards within the main phase display. And this is why I like this particular tuner, because it's analog, it's analog, and so there's no delay of digital processing. And because it's analog, it's not black or white, you get these subtleties that one recognises when one listens to it. And so this is why I particularly like that tuner. And it's so accurate that one can actually do the unisons. Um, yes, one should tune one to another, so that should be the right, two right-hand strings. But it's so accurate that you can actually, when you're in a hurry, tune all three strings individually and you can be confident with this machine that the unisons are perfect. It's not a matter of whether you do it by ear or whether you do it by machine or whatever. It's knowing your machine, knowing how to use it, knowing what results you get and getting those results.